here's a good question that sort of pushes your ideas or your ability to use the log rules. Uh, let's look at 61. So we need to find the log base B of 1 over 6. First thing I would do is use the, the quotient rule. So I'll go log base B of 1 minus the log base B of 6. Then this, really this says to what exponent must you raise B in order to get 1. I could do it over here a little bit. So it's saying log, whoops, log base B of 1 is equal to something. We don't know. Let's call it X. So if I change this to exponential notation, it would be B to the X is equal to 1. In other words, to what exponent must you raise B in order to get 1? Well, the only way or the only number you can put in there to get a 1, like if you put a 1, B to the first would just be B. But if you put a 0, anything to 0 power is 1. Uh, therefore, the answer to this, to what exponent must you raise B to get 1, uh, is 0. Okay, minus, and then log base B is 6. They don't have a 6 there. They just have 2, 3, and 5. But I do know that log... Uh, 6 is the same thing as 2 times 3. So I could write this as log base b of 2 times 3. Now here I'm going to have to be careful with this negative sign because it applies to everything in the brackets or everything after it. So when I use the product law to separate this out, so this would be log base b of 2 plus log base b of 3, uh, but this will be in brackets, and there will be a minus sign in front of that. So you can go log base b of 2, that's 0. 0.693, plus log base b of 3, that's 1.099. I guess I have a 0 there too, but 0 minus anything is just going to be negative. So uh, then you'll have 0 minus 1 point, what will that be? Uh, 99.693, and so your answer will be negative 1.792. Okay, hopefully that helps you with, uh, with that question. This would be a key thing. Uh, log base, b, base anything of 1 is going to be 0. So to what exponent must you raise b to get 1? Answer has to be 0. And then just being careful with that product law there.